Today we are back on my restaurant for part two of the mini series that I am doing from level one all the way to completing 100,000 served customers. In the last video, I went ahead and showed you guys a starter layout that you can use all the way from level one to 14. And then I showed you the intermediate layout that you would be using for quite some time because it was an evolving layout that you would have to go ahead and upgrade over time. So ever since then, I've been getting a lot of questions asking me what exactly you guys need to do. And basically, Basically, what is the next step after intermediate? So I'm going to answer all of those questions in today's video. As you can notice right here, I am currently still using the intermediate layout. I have served 53,000 customers. So I am just a little bit over halfway already reaching the 100,000 served. And I basically went from level 14 or 16 that I ended off last video all the way to level 52. And I am still using this layout there's currently a lot of confusion of people asking me if they should switch to the 10 floor layout which would be redacted's layout but the problem is is that people are kind of switching over to that layout without having the 10 floors this is exactly what i am making today's video because it is extremely important that I let some of you new players know, or maybe some of you that are returning and actually forgot about this and maybe are playing on a completely new account, but it is not recommended for you guys to go ahead and progressively work on a 10 floor layout unless you have all 10 floors. So many people are using the intermediate layout and saying that it's just not fast enough. 99.99% .99 of the time that I ask them how many floors they have, they'll tell me six, seven, four, three. This is the reason why the restaurant is not going as fast as you want it to. On the screen right now, I'm going to show you guys a quick little chart on how exactly floors work. When you first start off the game, customers will spawn in front of the door from eight to 18 seconds. That is how long they take to spawn in. Once you've purchased floor number two, that will be reduced to 16 to 14 seconds. And every single time that you purchase a floor, it becomes faster and faster. Ideally, until the point that you get to floor number 10, where it is doing a 0.5 to two second spawn rate. That is exactly the reason why there is no purpose for you to go ahead and upgrade from the intermediate until you have all 10 floors. Currently on my alt, I have seven floors. I have enough to go ahead and purchase my eighth one, which I will be doing in just a second. And as you can see right here, the restaurant is still not full. We're definitely getting there, but it's not even close to using up all of its seating. So why would I need to go ahead and build a 10 floor layout? Some of you were asking me what to do as far as like different upgrades go. If you noticed, I am still using all of the starter stuff. I'm using tiki tables. I'm using the cheap chairs in every single one of the area. The only thing that I've really been focusing on my upgrades is my appliances. And that is because I am preparing to the moment that I have 10 floors. When you're having 0.5 to two second customers coming in every single time and your appliances are just not keeping up with the demand, that is a huge problem. And you're going to end up having a buildup of customers over here at the door, or even worse, they'll be sitting down with absolutely no food. And that's going to be a huge problem. So that's going to be the next question that I'm going to answer right here. Make sure that you are upgrading your appliances while you are also upgrading your floors. You can, if you want to leave all of the appliance upgrades until the very end, once you you get all 10 floors but i highly suggest that you at least have one luxury stove and one luxury dishwasher in the mix of all of these right here that does not mean to pick up all of the other dishwashers and stoves it just means that you need to have at least one of each in the mix another thing that is very important is staff you need to make sure that you are buying staff as often as you can because again these are going to play a huge role and you really want to get these to level 50. If you notice, a lot of my waiters are level 50 right now. And as a matter of fact, I currently have one, two, um, three and four that are currently not level 50. I'm going to wait till they get to level 50 or at least really close. And then I'll go ahead and buy three more, even if I'm not using them. Wait, I actually take that back. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they just leveled. So I really only have two now three sorry three but if you notice i purchased charles first 
and Sophie and Emma technically already beat Charles. And that's just unfortunately because Charles gave all the work to Sophie and Emma. And that's the reason why I don't buy every single one of the staff at once because then you're kind of dividing all the XP. So I just kind of buy as I go. Cooks on the other hand are a little bit different. You usually want to have one cook per stove, but at the same time, you definitely want to have more cooks because you will need them for the 10 floor layouts. But if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really think that the cook level really matters too much because that would affect their walking speed and really all of our layouts doesn't require for the cooks to move at all. They kind of just stay right there. Waiters are the most important thing that you want to level up. Now, again, I say most important, but I'm pretty sure that you guys get the idea that really the number one most important thing here is for you guys to get all 10 floors. Another question that I've been getting a lot is what do I do with the rest of my floors? Well, Personally, I don't do anything with them. They are 100% completely empty, every single one of these. You can if you have haunted wells. You can go ahead and fill up every single floor with haunted wishing wells if you want, which I'm pretty sure that if you're using any of these layouts, you probably don't have any haunted wishing wells. But I guess now what I will finally tell you guys is probably the overall final kind of like upgrade that you're going to do to this entire layout just before you switch over to the 10 floor layout is purchasing the silverware trays. I would tell you that you should purchase them as soon as possible, but if I'm going to be honest, in order for you to even fill this up, it's going to be somewhere around three. 3 million maybe even 2.4 million something like that just to fill up each and every corner you're gonna need to buy 16 and then you'll need an additional three of them here in the center obviously using the no clip glitch but that's something that you really shouldn't be having to worry about until much later on once you've already gotten all 10 floors and really at that point you can kind of roll the dice and be like well do i really want to keep working on the intermediate or should i use the money to make all 10 floors it really is all up to you but you need to realize that the 10 floor layout does require you to use a lot of silverware trays give or take about 150 of them and at 200,000 a piece that means that you need what is it uh oh god i'm bad at math uh 30 million 35 million something like that so again you might want to consider actually purchasing the ones that you need for the intermediate layout before you worry about transitioning over to the final kind of like end game layout but yeah guys this video was definitely necessary because i've been getting so many questions and a lot of people asking me when the next layout is going to be coming out or part two of the entire series and i'm going to be honest i just didn't understand how people wanted that already because most of the time when i would ask them what number of floors they had they always told me less than 10 and you just can't build a 10 floor layout without 10 floors it's just not a thing don't get me wrong you can do it if you would like to will your restaurant be empty about 80 percent of the time and you just wasted money for no reason absolutely you probably could have wasted that money on upgrading a one floor layout but at the same time it's really up to you guys there is no wrong decision here i'm just trying my best to help out all of the new players and in the process of me doing all of that i am going to be getting my second huge cat in probably just a couple of hours because like i said i'm going to go ahead and open up this floor menu and we're purchasing a floor number eight which means that floor number nine is now six mil but i'm not too worried about it because i just went ahead and reduced from a 2.75 to 6.5 second spawn rate of customers down to a 2.25 to a five second so this restaurant is going to be getting even more full now so that means i will be getting more customers per hour and all i had to do was just purchase a floor and call it a day again part three to this kind of mini series that i have going on here is going to be coming a lot sooner than actually it took me to do part one to two because i'm only two floors away from finally being done of having all 10 i will probably have this within the next couple of hours and then i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to build redacted's layout in a 14 by 14 on a free-to-play account Unless, of course, a new 10 floor layout comes out by then that's personally even better, in which case then we'll switch over to that one. Also, before I forget, one final thing before I end this video. Some of you guys are unfortunately, or fortunately, because technically speaking, it's uh, a good thing, starting off the game with bigger restaurant game pass for free. Uh, I know it's kind of crazy, but apparently there is some type of a bug in the game right now where if you started off the game with zero progress, you instantly began with a 16 by 16 restaurant instead of a 14 by 14, like a lot of us that don't have the game pass are currently running. If you are one of these people, it is very simple. Just go ahead, buy some cactuses with the intermediate layout, 
put two rows of cactus on this side and put two rows of cactus on this side as well as well as a couple of rows over here the goal is to go ahead and reduce the size of your restaurant to 14 by 14 and you should be good to go i actually did this a lot when i used to play on my main account and uh when the game originally first came out so yeah hopefully this cleared a lot of questions that you guys have been having if you have any more let me know in the comments join my discord a lot of you have joined we've gotten over a thousand new members maybe even more than that i haven't checked this morning and the my restaurant channel over there is popping people are sharing layouts all of my staff are kind of working to get everything nice and organized for you guys as far as the layouts channels go it's been great super exciting and a lot of fun talking to you guys because i'm constantly inside that channel just kind of sharing ideas answering questions feel free to join link will be at the very top of the comments i'm gonna get back on the grind i will see you guys in part three that's gonna do it for this video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care